What's going on guys, it's Swimzy here, and welcome back to a brand new Warframe video. Now in this video we are going to look at Barracketeer's rotation for this fortnight. Now Barracketeer is currently located at the Lorunda Relay on Mercury, and let's see what he has. Before we get started, if you do like this type of content, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, as everything helps me out. And I'm currently on my way to hit 500 subscribers before the end of the year, so if you could, Please drop a subscription, your support always helps me out. Let me know if there's anything I can improve on, anything you want me to add in future videos, and let's get into it. Oh, excuse me, bossman. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so, he has... Oh! I was not expecting that, okay. We have the Gotva Prime. This was the weapon that people got at Tenocon for watching any live stream for 30 minutes. And it's a very good weapon. I would highly recommend picking this up. It's got a gimmick when sometimes while you shoot, it just gives off a random red crit. No one knows why. The stats are bugged, but it's a decent weapon all around. I would highly recommend picking this one up. Then we have Primed Magazine Warp. Plus 55% magazine capacity for rifles. Honestly, it's good to have all the Primed mods. This mod isn't that useful in terms of Primed mods. But I would still pick it up nonetheless, just to add it to your collection, in case you want to use it in a build. Then we have Primed Cryo Rounds, plus 165% cold for rifles. Definitely worth it in the long term. If you want to deal a lot of cold damage, or turn it into viral, then this is the mod for you. It's very valuable, I'd highly recommend picking it up. Then we have Shell Shock, plus 60% electricity, plus 60% status chance for shotguns. Again, it's not the best mod, but I would still pick it up in case you need those 60-60 mods for shotguns. Then we have Sweeping Serration, plus 120% slash damage for shotguns. Again, not as useful as it should be, but you can also get this from Eidolon Hydralis Drops. So it's not that valuable. If you need it, obviously pick it up. The choice is yours. Then we have the Prisma Gorgon. Now, on its own... This weapon is terrible, but with the new Incarnon Genesis, this weapon becomes absolutely insane. I have an Incarnon Prisma Gorgon video on my channel, if you would like to go check that out. It'll be linked in the description down below. But overall, this weapon is pretty solid for a bread and butter based assault rifle. However, you can choose to pick it up if you want mastery fodder, or if you want to delve deep into that Incarnon Genesis. Then we have Astral Twilight. A stance for glaives. I don't really use glaives that much, so I'm not sure if this is good. But obviously pick it up if you use glaives. The choice is yours. Then we have pedestal prime. For 1 million credits, you can get a primed pedestal. It's really just for show. There's nothing valuable in here. Then we have Katir fireworks. Um, this is probably the most useless thing he ever sells. So yeah, literally just a one-time use. You get 10 of them. Nothing special. Then we have the Katia color palette. This color palette is pretty good. It gives some nice grays, blues, and cyans. A little bit of brown in there as well. Not too shabby. Then we have the Katia Kavat armor. Um, yeah, it doesn't look that good in my opinion, but if you do like it, obviously pick it up. Then we have the Tosun skin for the twin Gricardas. Um, Yeah, I don't think anyone has purchased this in the whole lifespan of this game. I certainly wouldn't. It looks pretty disgusting. Then we have a three-day affinity booster. You can't go wrong with a three-day affinity booster. Instead of using platinum to buy it, you can use credits and ducats. But yeah, I would maybe get this. I normally just buy it because I have platinum, but if you don't have platinum, this is an easy way to get it. Then we have the Katia Atmos Diadem, a nice diadem for your operator slash drifter it's probably the best actual accessory for the operator's face in the game although it does look a bit silly but choice is yours if you want it go ahead and pick it up then we have the tenno kindred rug a nice rug decoration for your orbiter slash dojo then we have the prisma grinlock honestly not the best prisma weapon when it comes to raw dps potential but if you do need it for mastery or do like the grinlock and have a god tier ribbon like i do then honestly, it's not too bad of a weapon. Then we have the Prisma Lotus Glyph, a glyph of 
Lotus, literally nothing special. I'm just going to move on. We have the Elixir's Latron Pistol skin. This turns your Latron into a pistol, apparently. But, yeah. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. It's got some nice bronzed etching. And, yeah, pick it up if you really want it. I don't see the point, but it's up to you. Then we have the Mulsiba shoulder plate. Nice, massive. Oh, nice, just massive. And it looks like they're glitching out. What the hell? Anyway, these massive shoulder plates. Um, yeah. Then we have the knee plates as well. I'm, I'm guessing these are based off of Necromex. And then the chest plate, which I actually own. But yeah, the full set is here for the next two days if you are interested. Then we have the Wisp Immortal skin. This might actually be new. God damn! Honestly, this Immortal skin doesn't look too bad. I don't like the colors they chose, but the patterns will definitely help out on the Prime or non-Prime skin. Then we have the Katia Strayed Cyandana, a very small Cyandana. I don't think it's worth it, but yeah, five, 500 ducats, 500,000 credits. Yeah, nah, skip. Then we have the Clethark Planter, a... I guess it's an infested type planter decoration. I don't know. I think this is new, but it looks very, very disgusting. Pick it up if you really want it. Then we have the Fey Path Ephemera, a nice autumn leaf ephemera that you can get for very, very cheap. If you don't have this, I would recommend picking it up. It's an all right ephemera for the price. And finally, last but not least, we have the Sands of Anaris Blueprint. This is a guaranteed drop every time Barrow comes around, and you actually need this to unlock Anaris and play the Sands of Anaris quest. Now, the quest is pretty decent. Make sure you scan everything in that quest. And yeah, overall, it's a pretty decent quest. Anaris should be better, but it is what it is. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is the end of the video. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you did, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Now, as I said in the intro, I'm currently on my way to hit 500 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you could, please help out. Your support would mean everything to me. Thank you all so much. Let me know anything I can improve on, anything you want to see in future videos, and my favorite two items from today's rotation is the Gotva Prime. Seriously, one of the best assault rifles in the game, and also that primed cryo rounds for rifles. That is a very good mod too. Anyway, it's been Swim, guys. Later.